Good afternoon, Rob and Josh. Hope you guys are doing alright. Josh, you keep studying, boy. Anyway, I want to make this video to show you what's going on with the drainage system on this little ranger. So let me crawl underneath the pulling platform here. <clears throat> okay. This right there, your cockpit drain, is where the water is ingressing, where it's coming in. If we look down here, we have this inch and a half hose that is attached only to that drain. Now coming off that hose is this fitting with a small aerator pump attached to it. Now further aft, that right there, this little device, looks to be an inline scupper. And then of course back here to your through hole, and that has a flapper on it as well. All that being said, water is still coming in from here and going straight out through here into the cockpit. This, you'll notice, is a discharge that goes to the through hole right there. That pump is operated by, just a minute, oh, I love pulling platforms, they're so much fun. That is operated by the bottom switch here. You can hear it running, I'm sure. Oops, sorry about that. So in theory, if water theoretically enters that, that pump is supposed to pump it out through that discharge. But that means that you have to have this switch on almost continuously. So, what we're going to do, I don't really feel that this pump works, simply because it has to be manual operated. It's it's doing its best to suck out through that T fitting, but I don't really, I've never seen something like this before, to be honest with you. And it also appears that that inline uh, check valve has failed. So that's all going to be taken apart, and we'll see what um, what's in there. Also, you notice <clears throat> all these fittings below the water line, which are supposed to be double clamped. Do you see double clamps on there? No, you don't. And you see how rusty those clamps are. We're going to replace all them, okay? All right, you guys. Take care and have a great weekend.